Hey everybody, it's Amanda. I am co-founder of Food52 and I'm here in my kitchen in Brooklyn where we started the company. And today we're gonna to make Kindred's Milk Bread, which is one of our most popular bread recipes. Whoops. Um, it actually has over 400 comments on it. And now having made it, I know exactly why, because it is such a cool and unusual bread recipe and super easy to put together. And it makes these completely gorgeous loaves. And so let's get started. It starts at the stove, which is really unusual for a bread recipe. So the first thing we do is we make a roux with a one cup of water and a third of a cup of bread flour. And then we're gonna stir it and we're gonna cook it until it thickens, which is gonna take about five minutes. All right, so when it gets to this consistency, you can see it's nice and thick. I'm going to add the cream and also honey. So it's a cup of cream and it's a third of a cup of honey. And you're supposed to just mix it um, until the honey melts into the cream. So I think just probably about 30 seconds. All right, so the roux and honey and cream mixture is all uh, melded together and it smells so insanely good. I wish you guys could smell it. And now I'm gonna pour it into the bowl of my stand mixer and I've got a dough hook on it. Sorry, that sound is really nasty. Now the rest of the work happens here in the mixer and I've got salt, of course, and the rest of the bread flour, five cups, uh, unsalted butter brought to room temperature, yeast, three eggs, and then here's an ingredient that you don't see very often in recipes. Uh, milk powder. All right, so now we're going to start adding things to the mixer. First is the milk powder, which is three tablespoons. And I wanted to add that if you um, you can use half and half in milk in, in place of the cream in the first step. Um, so you know it's a pretty flexible recipe. It's just that you want some kind of dairy in there. And I'm going to add now two tablespoons of yeast it usually comes in packets but i was lucky enough to get the jar the jar kind so i can do lots of baking so i'm going to add two tablespoons of that and then two tablespoons of kosher salt i use diamond <laughs> and this is the cue for you guys to start arguing about diamond versus uh, morton <laughs> <laughs> it's a very hot debate on the internet, we know. And uh, now I'm going to add the eggs and then all the flour. The only thing you hold off on not adding is the butter, which goes in in a little bit. Oh, oh. Okay, that egg was ready to go. So this recipe, by the way, um, it comes from um, Kindred Restaurant in North Carolina, and this bread is what gets served to every table when you arrive at the restaurant. Now I'm gonna add the flour. Try to get it in here without pouring it all over my countertop. Let's see. Uh-oh. Okay, I missed some. Just a few little sprays here and there. Okay, now, here we go. There's gonna be a lot of noise, you ready? I'm gonna turn this off and just explain. So we're gonna let this, we're gonna let it knead for about five minutes until the dough is nice and smooth, and then we're gonna work, the, work in the butter, okay? You can see it's starting to get smooth, but it hasn't come together in a ball or anything. The dough has kneaded, and now I'm going to add the butter, which is room temperature, one piece at a time. Okay, come and take a look at this. Dough is getting smooth and shiny, and we're going to just keep incorporating the last piece of butter, and then when the dough, and let it knead for a little bit longer, and then we're going to go towards to the uh, first rise. The dough is going to be touching the sides and pulling away, and that's a sign that it's just about ready. 
All right, here's the dough. It's looking beautiful. And I am going to scrape it into a an oiled bowl. You, if you have um, vegetable oil spray, great. I just had um, canola oil and I just spread it around with a paper towel. And then we're gonna let this double. Now, normally I would just let it double at room temperature, but <clears throat> because I have to go to the grocery store today, please pray for me because Wegmans on a Saturday, mid-pandemic is probably gonna be a little nuts. So what I'm gonna do, because I need this to uh, rise more slowly, is put it in the refrigerator, okay? And you can do that too if you've got other things going on and you wanna just control the timing. It'll just, it will slow the rise. Okay, we'll see you in a couple of hours. Short intermission, because I have to fess up that uh, I made a mistake in the recipe, which is that um, I was not supposed to add three eggs right away. You're only supposed to add two eggs to the dough and then the third one gets used for the coating on the top. The good news is <laughs> it worked out okay, but I just wanted to give you a heads up in case you were following along with the recipe and were wondering why I was adding three eggs. But you know, maybe I wasn't paying that much attention to the directions. I am oiling two loaf pans. You can do these in this bread in um, in muffin pans. You can do it in nine by thirteen pans. <clears throat> I'm gonna do sort of classic loaf pans. Ready for the big reveal? Here we go. Ooh, oh, it's definitely doubled. Okay, so we're gonna punch it down. I like to put a little flour on top so it doesn't stick to my fists. Ready? Love that. I'm gonna gather the dough. And I'm gonna turn it out onto a lightly floured board. Try to use as little flour as you need. Okay, so. What they have you do is divide this into 12 pieces. So you do not have to be precise. Okay, so I'm going to take each of these little nuggets and just uh, lightly shape it into a ball. Oh, I love dough. So nice. And I have to say, at this moment, just focusing on something very pleasing like dough is <clears throat> a gift. So we've got all these little pods of dough, and now we're just gonna put them into the oiled baking pans. And I just wanna say that behind the camera is my daughter Addison, who has been so nicely filming these videos for me and it's been one of the other gifts of being home all the time is just getting to hang out with our kids trying to find the silver linings um, <laughs> I'm sure that filming videos for her mom is maybe not her for first choice <laughs> but um, thank you Addison okay, I'm gonna tuck those in there nestle them in and now we're gonna cover these with a dish towel and let them rise until doubled and then we're gonna get them in the oven we are back and our bread has risen doesn't that look lovely so i've got an egg in here i'm gonna beat that with a teaspoon of water And we're gonna use that to, I'm gonna brush this on top, give it a nice shiny coat. And then um, the oven's at 375. There's different baking times for different shapes. With the, with the loaf pans, you wanna bake it for about 50 minutes to an hour. Last step is to sprinkle flaky salt. I like to use Malden. Okay, and then we are going to put them in the oven. And I'm gonna flip them, turn them uh, 180 degrees at about halfway through. Bye-bye.
We have some beautiful bread inside. Here we go. Ooh, look at that beauty. Yeah, that one there. Get a second one. Oh, so nice. Okay, so we are gonna let those beauties cool and then take them out of their little sleep sacks slash pans. Um, and then we're gonna have some nice bread to eat. Do you want the soft inside or the crunchy outside? Um, either one is fine. Okay, so you have braces. I'm gonna give you the soft inside. Okay, here we go. Well, it's very soft. Mm. Bye everybody. Highly recommend it. Um, if you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. We'll get back to you. Um, also, come follow us on Instagram. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Absolutely. We'll bring me back with more. All right. Bye.